Hey guys, we're gonna do a video. This is all before I watched the like reunion for Love is Blind 2. Oh yeah, hey A-listers, I'm sorry I said hey guys. This is gonna all be before the reunion of Love is Blind 2. We're gonna talk about the worst person on Love is Blind 2 and she's pissing me off. This is Shayna. She's very religious. She's very extroverted. You know, she likes to joke around and she really got along with a lot of the dudes she talked to if i'm be honest with you like there hasn't been one dude that really has had a big issue with her and has mentioned it i know in like some cases they edited it to where it's just like when she would mention stuff about her like oh i have a major instagram follower like kind of bragging about some of the parts it would be like they looked annoyed but yeah so yeah we're gonna talk about how she's the worst character okay so she was into this other dude named shane <laughs> shana and shane i know right but um, she was into him and then she's also into Kyle so for a few days she didn't talk to Shane um she got closer with Kyle and then once Shane was having a little bit of issues with Natalie oh my gosh we got to talk about Shane after this we're gonna talk about Shane after this um afterwards Shayna this woman right here wanted to communicate that she liked Shane but this was around the time when Shane was a little bit more into Natalie and around the time to where Shane and Shayna were not talking right so like oh my gosh bro he's just like why didn't you say this like you know in the two days when we didn't speak to each other like you know we or we didn't like communicate too much to each other like why didn't you say it there and then you could have been said it before those two days like why didn't you say it and she was just like I don't know and then her and Kyle got married afterwards she's been acting like the most wishy-washy bitch ever oh my gosh they got to mexico they were in the hotel and she did not want to sleep in the same room as him she literally left the room they were in i can understand if you don't want to sleep with this man but god damn you didn't like and by sleep with this man i mean like have sex with this man but damn don't leave the entire room like she literally left the room and then after that she left mexico like she went back home and then once everybody's trip at Mexico was like done with, she he met they met up. Kyle and Shayna met up. He even met her family, right? But she's already had it in her mind that she did not want to marry this man, okay? And the thing about it is she said yes to him. And I think what made her say yes was the fact is that Kyle was giving his mother's ring to her. So it's a lot of pressure, right? Which was just like so she it's kinda like a pity yes. Like, you know, a pity yes. Like she she was feeling bad if she said no so we cut to them like when she's about to tell him that she like doesn't want to be with him like you know doesn't want to marry him and whatnot and stuff like that this was after he had met the parents and the mom had already looked him up and down he's an atheist i don't think he told her family that he's an atheist but i think they could kind of figure that he's an atheist because she's really into religion like she's she said God is first and before everyone. And I was thinking in my head, just like before your parents, but she probably would have said before her parents, like God is, God is before everyone. And sorry, I worked. God is before everyone. So that was her problem. She had, she was, he's an atheist. Kyle also said he has a very religious mom. And it made me think that's probably why he's an atheist <laughs> because she probably hammered down his throat, her ideals and about God. It probably was a necessity for him to know all about God, for him to go to church, just cramming down his throat. Uh, this one religion and stuff like that and it's like I can understand how he would just not be in love with it anymore once it's like been forced upon him and then they even had to talk in the pods about it like you know uh like he was even referencing like what you think I'm gonna have a problem with like the kids saying grace or something like that and then he was trying to say like he wouldn't have too big of an issue about it I think and it's like like yeah you know but it's the fact that Shayna wants to hammer in her kids her the religion right and it just made me think like he even says something like oh yeah you know they're gonna grow up with their own minds like you know he even says like Kyle said like oh I grew up with my own mind and I'm not religious like talking with and it made me think like yeah you know you can grow up religious but it's not a guarantee that you're gonna be religious for the rest of your fucking life okay that's people are gonna think how they want to think once they get to a certain age they'll decide what they really want to do like it's it was kind of that, like that and she made it such a big deal like she literally made it to where like oh yeah you know it fucked up the relationship like she she was just like she lied to him first of all she didn't say no to his proposal she said yes because she was under that much pressure but at the same time like girl don't matter how much pressure it is if you already have it in your head you want to say no say no like don't force yourself to get with somebody and stuff like that all because you feel bad and stuff like that like no the fuck like ugh. i flipped it to another screen <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's like, 
bro and now i'm at a part to where she's like doing the most they already she already said like no he he was like kyle was admitting like that was fucked up that you didn't say no at the time like why didn't you say no during then you you lied to me like he was telling like you lied to me and she was just like no i didn't lie to you and he was just like all this stuff was like bullshit and she was just like whoa don't talk to me like that i'm not i feel sick right now and i'm over just thinking like bitch I, oh that shit irritated me and then after she gave him like his mother's ring back um he hugged her and then she walked away she had a lasting look at him before she walked away fully and then she made the plan to be like oh yeah Okay, so I should have gone with Shane the whole time. It's in my gut. It's in my feeling. She already admitted that she liked Shane back then, but he was like, he's into Natalie, right? She sends a text. This is weeks later. She sends a text to Natalie saying, hey, if it doesn't work out with you, I can hook you up with some other guys. Do you know how fucked up that is to say that shit? It's kind of like trying to manifest that their relationship doesn't work out. And by Natalie, Natalie is the woman that um, Shane's into. The She's the woman that Shane wants to marry, right? And Shayna literally was like, oh yeah, you know, if this doesn't work out, I got some guys I can hook you up with. And she said that was a joke. That is a fucked up joke. And she meant it. That, that was not a joke. That's something she meant. And I'm over here at the part to where this was, they're in this hat. They're sitting on the beach right now speaking and shit. And I had to make this video because this is pissing me the fuck off. Why is it that like at first she was complaining about how Natalie had an issue with her saying that stupid ass joke to her? And the way that Shane looked, he looked uncomfortable. And I was just like, yes, that's, that's how you're supposed to look. Because how are you supposed to feel about that shit? Like, no, that's fucked up, right? And then afterwards, she was telling him about how much he ca she cared about him and then all that good stuff, whatnot. To, and then he started, like, looking at her, kind of that longing, I'm still kind of interested type of look. And I was just like, I'm not fucking with it. I'm not fucking with it. Don't do that. Do not look at her like that. Because no like you have natalie like don't do that i can't let's move on to i would say shane I, we can move on to shane but i have to look back at some parts of the video like i made another video about it but yeah this is gonna be this is kind of gonna be a part and part video should i make it a movie i don't know i don't know i don't know but anyway that was the video thank you for watching a listed yeah and, and new people too, you all are welcome and may peace be with you for an eternity.